Well, hello everyone. This is Robin Carter with Robin's Creations. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator out of Flower Mound, Texas. And today I'm here to share with you my first alternative video with the November 2024 Paper Pumpkin Kit named Filled with Joy. Before we begin, let me thank those of you that have subscribed to my channel. And if you're new to my channel or have yet to subscribe, you could give me a special birthday gift. My birthday is coming up in December and hitting that subscribe button to my YouTube channel. If you can be a part of helping me get to 4,000 subscribers, we only need like 32 more to reach that. I would be so thankful as I'm thankful for each and every one of you. Before we begin, let me explain. I was going to do this video Tuesday, but I came down with a horrible cold. So if my voice sounds different, it's because I'm still recovering. It did feel good to get up, shower, get my hair done and makeup on for this video. So I was glad to have that and I feel, I'm feeling better. My sinuses will just be messed up for a few more days. So uh, let me also remind everyone, if you signed up for the World Card Making Day, you probably received a coupon for $5, uh, a coupon code good for $5 worth of product. So check your email. You should have received that if you subscribe to the uh, signed up for the card making day because that expires on November 30th. So I had forgotten I had one. So it is in my cart already for when I get ready to uh, finish my shopping cart. Just wanted to remind you of that in case you uh, have forgotten about yours as well. So let me switch to hands down so I can get started and show you what's coming up for the next paper pumpkin kits. Let me just switch screens here. Okay, so this is the kit we received. Very cute and I hope to help um, you make them even cuter with my alternatives. So going on now is the subscription period for the December 2024 paper pumpkin kit named Notes from the Heart. So this one is going to be a card kit three each of three designs. So you want to be sure and subscribe to that. The deadline to sign up for this one is December 10th. Now, if for some reason you decided to suspend the November kit, your subscription would switch back to active in December. If you hit cancel, it won't resubscribe. So just be aware of that. Make sure your account is up to date with payment information and everything, or you'll um, get a notice saying you'll be a part of the second billing. Okay, I have a link in the video description of this video and all my videos of how you can subscribe if you are a new Paper Pumpkin subscriber. I also want to point out that right before this video, I did notice that the refills are out for this kit. Now, I don't expect the refills to last long, so if you want more of these stockings, I would uh, advise you to probably place that order today. And you do have to be a Paper Pumpkin subscriber in order to uh, purchase anything out of the paper pumpkin category. I do have a November host code that's still valid. So if you do not have a demonstrator, I would really appreciate if you place your order. You use this host code when you check out and any orders of $75 or more, you will receive a special gift from me. Now I shared already that my paper pumpkin subscribers will receive this little sleeve where you can store your stamps in and I also put this little flyer in there as well that we receive in our kits. It fits in there nicely and it helps me put my stamps back together uh, so they fit on the little card they have. You also receive a little ink uh, coordinating cardstock for your ink spot. That way you can tell what color it is and store it upside down so your ink is fresh ready to go at the top of your pad. So that's all the business let's get down to the fun all right so we have these cute little stockings and i really wanted to dress it up even more so here's what i did i have two uh ways to show you how i did this but i'm going to do the easiest one first so we have this cute little ornament stamp that came in the kit and then we have also the star. So what I did is I just went straight to stamping on my stocking. 
Now I'm going to use my full size ink pad because I know it's nice and juicy. Um, you kind of want a juicy one for this because it's going to go into our stocking. Now I like my stocking to go this way. Um, you can choose yours. Um, you, you could do the front and the back, but I'm just going to do the front of these stockings. So like I said, I just inked it up pretty well and I'm going to stamp right down. Now when you stamp, you want to hold this for a little while. That way the linen has time to soak up the juices. So let's see if that's good. That's pretty good. Now it's going to be kind of a faint uh, inking. So just be aware that that's part of it. Now I have another way that I'm going to show you if you wanted the full strength of the ink. It was a new product that I found. All right, let's do a few more of these. That's working out well. By the way, with your full size pads, you don't want to mash mash. It's more like tap tap. Okay, so just be aware of that. This is going to take just a little bit of time for me to finish this one. And let's put one here. And then I'm going to let that sit there a second. I'm going to get out my Lost Lagoon because that was a coordinating color to this kit. And I'm going to do the star. Now the star is pretty fragile. Let me clean this off. If you'll clean your stamps right away, they won't stain bright pink. They'll just stain a slight pink. So I go with a paper towel first to get my ink off. And I have my well-loved uh, stamp and scrub, which I've cut in half and then one half in half again. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the star. Now the star is quite um, cushy. <laughs> is that a word? So you want to be real delicate when pressing it down or you may get a mess of a star. Let me close up the poppy parade so I don't get that all over my um, project here. So we're just going to stamp some stars around as well. Just to decorate our stocking. I'm going to try to be careful and not talk too much so I don't go into a coughing fit. Let's put another one there and maybe here. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. And you can see here when you turn your stocking down, I'm, o I'm okay that some of it's going to get covered up. Then you have our stocking. Now I pre-did a tag. I did it pretty much like the um, kit said to. And these are part of my favorite things, these little envelopes. But I took the little, um, I guess it's stars stamp, and I randomly put that on there. And then I'm a Merry Christmas girl, so all my tags are going to say Merry Christmas. And then in the kit, we received these cute, cute um, clips. Let me grab mine out of there. I'm afraid these are going to go missing. That's why I always stick them back in my um, pouch. By the way, these are the 7 by almost 10 envelopes. And as you can see, they hold the Paper Pumpkin kit supplies quite nicely. All right, so then I'm just going to stick that there. And the best way, I just try to stick it through the first fold, not necessarily the second fold. And then clip that in there. And so there we go. A nice decorated stocking. I think that looks pretty nice like that. Now let me show you a second idea I had. So I found, let me set this out of the way. And by the way, I would put it aside. I haven't tried to see if it smears, but I'm going to set this aside um, on my side table here so it doesn't smear. Now I had found on Amazon, and I'll include this as part of my favorite things in this video, uh, in the description box of this video. So it's this new fun, it's basically paper iron-on sheets. Okay, it's it, they say it's for inkjet, and I said, you know what, I'm going to see if I can stamp and then use this as an iron-on. So um, that's what I did on a few of these. 
So I decided to use my favorite bundle the last few months, which is the um, Frosted Forest. And this is a little tree. I did die cut it with the iron-on paper. Now I did it ahead of time because it's kind of a shiny, it's not really shiny, but it takes a little bit for the ink to dry. So I wanted to do that ahead of time. Okay, so um, by the way, when you die cut these, um, you wanna make sure that the paper side is on top. This side is the peel away side. So this will only work on, um, it won't work on sentiments because it would be backwards. Um, but it does work on anything that is fine if you flip it around. So I have a stocking here. And just to be safe, I use the cardboard from um, the kit. And that one's too big. Let me find my other strip. To cut a piece so I could put it right in the stocking. And by the way, I meant to do that on my stamping one too. But uh, let me see if it went through. Okay, it did not go through to the other side, so we're nice and safe there. All right, and I put that there, and then I decide where I want to put my tree. Now, be careful. Don't put it like that. You need to flip it upside down, and I know that because I did, and it was a mess on my iron, and I had to um, clean it off with some vinegar. But my husband's like, why do you have your iron upstairs in your craft room? And this is why. So we have our tree there and I have my iron. Hopefully it's already hot. And you just wanna press it straight on here. Actually, I'm gonna get my silicone mat just in case it touches my table and it shouldn't matter that much. So put your tree or whatever you decide to use there and then take your iron and I just go count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And by the way, you don't want it on steam. You just want it hot. Put my iron there. And then while it's still warm, you want to gently peel away the backing. Now this is sometimes harder um, than it should be. But I'm trying to get just the backing without the iron on. Well, goodness, this <laughs> no, none give me as much trouble except for when I do a video, and then it's always trouble. You know what, maybe it didn't stick quite well. Let's do that again, because I'm pulling up both. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it says while it's hot, still, oh, there we go. It must not have been on there good. So as you can see, we did an iron on on the stocking. Now I'm gonna show you one that I finished. So I didn't quite think that the late tags in the kit um, worked with that. Now, here's one that I did with one that I didn't have a die cut for. And I don't know if this shows, you can see the iron on alongside it. I much prefer the one that I had a die cut for. So I made my own tag. Now these are the retired tailor-made tags, but I know there are some nice Christmas tags in the mini catalog. And those are in my cart. I've yet to get those. Okay, and here's another one I did with the little tree, much like I just did. And so you can see I made a tag with the same stamped tree on a dimensional there. So that way we can have iron-on tags, and then that leaves us some of these pretty tags to make cars with. And that's going to be my next alternative that I share with you. So that will probably be next week, hopefully Monday or Tuesday, because then we're gonna be um, getting ready for Thanksgiving. So there's that. Here's some that I did with the iron on of the uh, stamp in the kit and the stars. So as you can see, I didn't quite, I fussy cut along there with the iron on paper, and it's not too bad, but you can see, let me get the other one to compare. It's a much brighter um, inking when you do the iron-on versus the direct stamp. But I think the direct stamp works well. I just thought I would share this fun product that I found to, to do iron-ons with your stamping. So 
that is my alternatives for you today. That is kind of a quick video, but I did want to get this out for you so you, you can decide if you want to um, do iron-ons or whatnot um, for your stockings. Again, there are refills that I saw today. I don't know how long they will last, probably not long. So you wanna be sure and grab those up if you need them or want them while you still can. So I will be making another tag with this one. Um, also, I wanna share, if you're gonna do direct stamping on that paper, you don't want it too juicy. You can see here this evergreen tree was kind of full. It's okay, um, but you don't wanna, basically you just wanna stamp it and lift it off because it will soak up your ink as you go along. So just be gentle with that. I will put that in the video description of this box. It's what I call my favorite things. I am an Amazon affiliate. So when you use those links, um, let me switch back to me. I get a few pennies back at no cost to you. So if you're interested in those, those will be in the video description box as well. Now I did also make a cut pile while I was sick. This was something I could do. And this is on my Etsy shop. So I did uh, a tracing of these ornaments. Does that show? Oh, I need to switch back to hands down, don't I? I'm showing you that and it doesn't, you're not, you're like, what is it? Okay, here it is. Okay, so if you're interested in the cut file, you could stick designer series paper um, in your Cricut. There is a SVG file, which is good for a Cricut or a silhouette, as well as the FCN file, which is good with your scan and cut. And you can see here, I put in some designer series paper to um, cut this ornament. Well, actually that's not that one. Why is it so small? I may have to check my file. Oh. All right, that's kind of weird. <laughs> Let me double check that one. But here is the other one. And by the way, this um, is a cut file as well. And, and that's just those. So you can decide, switch up your designer series paper one side or the other. So that is my alternative for you today. I hope you found some inspiration to make your stockings even cuter. And by the way, they do hold a uh, gift card. So that's just a used gift card that I had laying around for um, display purposes. So now let me switch back to me. Okay, so thank you everybody for watching. I hope um, you found some inspiration in this video. And I will be sharing some card alternatives in my next video. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you have a great day. And in case I don't get this out before Thanksgiving, I want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving next week here in the U.S. So have a great day, everyone. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.